Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So what we're going to do today is to actually back up my live website, which is frontendhero.dev and migrate it to my local machine. The reason for that is because I want to start using a new page builder called Bricks Builder, but I'll get into that in another video. So yeah, we're just going to go through my process for backing up a WordPress website and migrating it. And the backup plugin I use is a plugin called Updraft Plus. It's a free plugin from the WordPress repository and um, it's actively developed. It is installed on countless websites and um, yeah, I've trusted it for my websites for the past, God, like seven years, I think now. Okay, so let's have a look at the live site at the moment. So again, this is the live site that will be backed up. And then this is my fresh install of WordPress on my local machine uh, created with WP Engine's local app. Okay, so first up in the live site, let's go to plugins and we're going to install updraft and uh, there it is there updraft plus install that okay just wait for it to kind of install there and then we can click activate right um okay so let's go to updraft plus and just get rid of that banner there and um, they do actually clutter the admin with all these banners which is annoying but hey it is free software Okay, so just make sure the plugin themes uploads must use plugins and any other directories are um, ticked. Okay, so if we scroll down a little bit further, we'll see a link that says show expert settings. Now, one thing I like to do is just make sure my archives are split every 400 megabytes. And this is purely based on experience. Uh, in the past, I've set this to like a gigabyte or maybe even 750 megabytes. And sometimes um, it does fail. So yeah, 400 megabytes seems like the sweet spot for myself. So all the other settings are usually fine for me here. Um, I just click save and then we're ready to back up. So let's start the backup process by clicking backup now. And let's just double check um, all of these settings are ticked here, plugins, themes, uploads, etc. And then we just go down to the backup now button and click it. Okay, so depending on the size of your website, it could take uh, from a few seconds to a few minutes. This website isn't that big, so it should be done pretty quickly. And we'll give it a few seconds and then it is ready. So the backup has finished running and then we can see all of our uh, folders here in a nice little row packaged up. And now let's click each of these um, buttons here. So this basically starts the process to retrieve them and then we can download them to our computer. So we're going to do that now one by one. And we can see here that the database is actually quite small. Uh, plugins is nearly 100 megabytes. Um, and yes, obviously the folder with the images is the largest um, and nearly 265 megabytes, which is not uncommon at all. Um, but yeah, I do have websites that have um, gigabytes of media and um, it's a bit of a chore to download everything. Okay, so if we have a look here, all those files have been downloaded, uh, all these zip files. And we can see all the zip files here on my local machine. So now we need to import them in. So let's get rid of that tab for the moment and pop into the local website. And we'll say again, add plugin and search for updraft. And yeah, same deal as obviously the live site. We're just going to install it, then activate it, and then basically go back into the settings. But this time, instead of backing up, we're going to be importing the backup files. Now again, we click settings and then scroll down to upload backup files. And now we can just drag in our zip files and plonk them in there. And we're just about ready to import this into our local installation. So with those installed, um, let me just expand this screen a little bit. Okay, cool. Now we just click the restore button and make sure all these uh, checkboxes are ticked um, for all of our folders. Now we do need to click this checkbox too if we want to uh, replace the site location in the database, uh, which we will want to do. Otherwise, even though this is a local website, if we try and click a link, it's going to try and bring us to the live site. So not good. Okay, so that's installed fine. Um, let's log in um, to our local install. And first up, actually, let's delete those old folders from Updraft. Okay, so yeah, this is basically a clone copy of my live site uh, running on my local machine now. So if you have a look at the front end, um, well, we're presented with an SSL error. Don't worry about that. We can just click advanced and then proceed because we don't need to have SSL enabled on our local machine. 
Right, so here on the front end of our local site, we can actually see all of the website links here work as they should, um, as basically the live site. So super easy to back up and migrate with this Updraft Plus plugin. I'm very grateful for it because it's free and super easy to use. So yeah, that's just a little video, little insight into how I back up my WordPress websites and migrate them with the Updraft Plus plugin. So that's it for now. If you found this valuable, do subscribe to the channel and catch you guys in the next one.